Okay, today I'm going to take a look at a couple examples of converting between degrees and radians, um, as well as then going backwards, radians to degrees. Um, in my first example here, I'm going to be going from degrees to radians, and I chose 60 degrees just so for the process. All right, um, if you are given degrees and you need to go to radians, you are going to multiply by pi radians over 180 degrees. All right, doing it this way leads to a nice little unit analysis where all your units cross out and you're left with the unit that you need. All right, so uh, for 60 degrees, what I want to do is I'm going to want to write it as a fraction. I'm going to want to go 60 degrees over 1. All right, that puts my degrees in the numerator there. Now, if I multiply by pi radians over that 180 degrees, what this does is it sets it up really nice for a unit analysis. All right, I've got degrees in the top, I've got degrees in the bottom. I can cross off my degrees. All right, so the only thing that's left is my radians. All right, so I am converting to radians. All right, you're going to want to multiply straight across the top. Okay, so 60 times pi. And then across the bottom, 1 times 180 gives you the 180. All right, and then this is radians at this point. Now, you are going to uh, probably want to take care of that fraction um, so you can more easily find it on the unit circle. If you can reduce that fraction, then by all means do. Um, in this case, I can cross off zeros, and then I've got 6 over 18, which again reduces a little bit farther there, uh, down to pi over 3. So 60 degrees is pi over 3 radians. All right, and that one's on the unit circle. It's an easy one to convert, um, but I just wanted to show you the unit analysis with the conversion factor there. All right, now, if I um, also wanted to go the other way around, if I had a um, radian measure and I wanted to convert it to degrees, all right, I'm going to multiply by 180 degrees over pi radians. All right, so this one I... Um, chose a negative radian, which doesn't make any difference there. Um, just to show you that it doesn't make any difference, positive, negative, whether we're going clockwise or counterclockwise around the circle. All right, I already have a fraction here. The only thing I am going to do when I write this, I am going to put my radians in the numerator when I go do that unit analysis. So I'm going to do a negative 5 pi radians over 3. All right, this way, when I multiply then by the 180 degrees over pi radians, all right, I can clearly see that I've got radians in the top and radians in the bottom, okay, which now I can cross off labels, all right, which is going to leave me the only label left there is going to be degrees, so I am definitely converting to degrees. Um, I can also cross off um, the pies, so pi and pi crosses off, might as well go ahead and do that. Okay, at that point, you can... Um, multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. All right, that's going to give me a negative 900, and it is degrees over 3. Go ahead and divide that all the way out. I get a negative 300 degrees. All right, so just two real quick examples there of how to convert between degrees and radians, radians to degrees. Um, using the unit analysis and your conversion factor, it makes the uh, process relatively simple. Thanks for watching.